Yo, yo, yo. Thanks for tuning in to the 41st episode of Jade Sox Crypto. And I'm doing this little intro on the floor for now so I could do some nice thumbnail shit where I can get the Compact F, the Ant Miner S9, and the Apollo BT, future bit Apollo BTC all in the same shot. Shit that I do for likes. Please like, comment, subscribe. I fucking hate asking, but apparently this is what we gotta do to stay relevant on YouTube, right? Today we're putting putting it up. Head to head. You're looking to get into Bitcoin mining. You don't got that much bread to burn. You don't wanna start a fire. You don't wanna fucking go crazy. What do you do? What are even your options, realistically? Because if you're watching this video, maybe you don't got fucking 10 grand to spend on an S19 because who the fuck does, right? Uh, <laughs> and uh, just, to, just to put it in perspective, those fucking S19s, anything that's like an industrial miner like that is super fucking loud. So today, in this episode, I'm going to be talking about um, mainly the future bit versus uh, the, the future bit Apollo BTC versus the Gecko Science Compact F. Um, as an owner of both, uh, what should you buy if you can only buy one? Uh, what are your other options? Um, so, I would just I'm just gonna start it off with saying it's it's a very hard decision to make because you could be optimizing for different things. Um, maybe you just maybe may, maybe you're just like bored and you kind of like want to start to get into Bitcoin mining. And you want to learn about it a little bit. Um, I would just go for whatever the fuck is cheapest. Whatever is easiest. Whatever comes the fastest. That's exactly what I would do. Um, <clears throat> if you are just trying to ROI as fast as possible. Um, I, w I would honestly look into something else. That's kind of like why I put the S9 in there. Because if you're you are what I call an ROI guy, then that's something that you want to do because it's just like, you know, you're like people over here commenting and shit, like kind of like judging these other devices on like what I consider the wrong way to look at it. You know, it's not really fair to compare something like the future bit to to fucking S19. Uh, it's not really fair to compare. Uh, a Gecko Science Compact F to a fucking Helium Miner or some shit like that. It's just like in a completely different realm. Like, I'm not, I don't really have anything against like altcoins. If you want to go mine them, go ahead. I just know that they're not going to be here in 10 years. And, um, you know, even if you have like a super old shitty ASIC from 2013, 2014, 2015, it still mines today. It doesn't mine a whole lot. It might use a lot of energy or whatever, but it still mines uh, Bitcoin and it still can mine Bitcoin. And that's kind of like the point that like uh, I'm trying to make is, is just like on avoiding kind of like these other cryptocurrencies. And I guess like uh, while I'm making this video, I just wanted to put it out there as to like why I personally don't mine altcoins with um, SHA-256 uh, ASICs. Like, in my opinion, if you're going to be mining, like, a different coin with the SHA-256 thing, like, you're just kind of, like, you just don't really understand what's going on. Um, if you, you should look at a hash rate graph, like, type in Bitcoin hash rate, and then look at the competing coins. And the thing that I'm just trying to get at is, like, some of the, like, none of these other coins come anywhere close to Bitcoin's hash rate. You have individual miners that can come in and rent hash rate at a moment's notice and then just completely wreck your chain. So I just, I don't really see the point um, in buying like specialized Bitcoin hardware and then mining like fucking Cheetah coin with it or mining whatever fucking SHA-256 algorithm coin, even Bitcoin trash, like get the shit out of my face. I don't, I don't give a fuck about Bitcoin trash. I don't give a fuck about Bitcoin SV. I don't give a fuck about any of these other fucking Bitcoin knockoffs that trying to use SHA-256. If you mine that shit, you're probably going to get wrecked. I'm telling you this right now. If you mine that shit, you're probably going to get wrecked. I say it for louder for the people in the back. 
if you mine that shit, you might get fucking wrecked. Um, cause literally, look at your hash rate compared to bitcoins. I'm telling you, like a guy, <laughs> a fucking bored dude, uh, with a fucking couple of S19s could fucking reorg your whole shit. And there's nothing you can do about it. And then you like you'll be over there. And you'll have mined uh, on these coins a whole bunch. You never get a payment. And then, like, you could have been mining Bitcoin. And it's like, maybe you could have been, maybe you would have been getting a little tiny bit of Satoshis. But then, like, if Satoshis do end up going to a dollar, like, would you waste your time for? Would you waste your time for? Um, that's a little, little tangent that I wanted to go off on. Uh, anyway, going back to the future bit versus the, the gecko science. Uh, and I guess the, the Ant Miner S9. Um, I just want to say that, like, um, maybe, like, don't discount the S9. Because the thing is, it's like, say that with an asterisk. Because I personally don't even run that shit. It's too fucking loud. It's too hot. And it's like, I don't know. I just, I just, that's not my style of mining. Like, I really do not like this super hyper industrialized shit like i don't know that's kind of like why i love the the future bit and the gecko science rigs because it's just like it's just like a cool shit that you can have in the background and it's like people come in and it's like oh what is that and then like you know you can talk about it and you you orange pill them you educate them a little bit they learn a little bit a little bit about the network and i like to me that's kind of like what it was about you know it's so weird to kind of like be seeing people commenting over here saying like oh go mine this random thing and I'm just like, bro, like, <laughs> like, I'm just happy I get to mine. Like, leave me alone. Like, I'm not really, like, over here, like, all these other YouTubers where they're we're, we're over here, like, oh, I'm interrupting you to introduce you to this new random token that nobody gives a fuck about. And then they paid me a billion dollars to talk about it to, to you. So then I can dump it on you later. Uh, that's what most of these YouTubers are doing. Like... That's essentially what they're doing. <laughs> um, if you don't know it, then, like, that's what it is. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know. Back to um, <laughs> ba back to Gecko Science versus Future Bit, because that's what you probably clicked it for. I'm so sorry for hitting y'all with all the fucking rants. But it's just uh, some someone had to say it. <laughs> And that is why I started this channel, you know. I did want to kind of, like, provide, like, a straight-up raw take on shit. Like, you know, a whole bunch of these fucking YouTubers and a whole bunch of other people, they're, like, super uh, super financially, like, incentivized by other things. And it's just, like, for me, all I really want is for the Bitcoin price to go up. Uh, and, I, and I do have that bias. But the reason why I have that bias is because, like, if you want to bet against Bitcoin, go ahead. Uh, anyone that's ever bet against Bitcoin has felt stupid in the long run. Uh, anytime, like, the people that got in at 10K didn't think it was going to go to 20 again uh, or 30. Um, people who were buying it, it's just, this shit is going to go up forever. It's kind of like what I, what I think. It'll take its time. It might go up and down, but that's a, that's a part of the deal. Um, and that's something that you do need to, like, believe if you're going to mine, uh, in my opinion. Because if you don't believe that, why are you here? If you don't think that Bitcoin is going to a million dollars per coin, $10 million per coin, why the fuck are you mining? Seriously. Seriously. If you are over here and you're about to buy one of these fucking miners... And if you sell any fucking single Satoshi for, like, less than a penny or less than a dollar, why are you mining? That's just my opinion. Like, we're over here, and uh, we're, we're in, the, in the third epoch, epic. I don't know how the fuck to pronounce that word. And um, that means that, like, three, ha three halvings have occurred. Like, how many more, like, you know, in, in a couple more halvings, there's not going to be, like, even one Bitcoin per block issued. Um, so why are you mining if you don't think Bitcoin is going to $1 to $10 million per coin? That's kind of, like, the question that I want to ask. Why are you watching this video if you don't think Bitcoin is going to $1 to $10 million per coin uh, over the next 10 years? 
you know that's kind of like like how i look at it it's just like you know people these roi guys like in my comments like, go look at this random coin and i'm just kind of like my guy like zoom out look at the long term look at the long term view this is what i'm talking about on this channel I'm trying to stay focused um so that's kind of like the mentality that you need to have to even begin to mine and then that's when the debate between the S9 the um the Gecko Science the the Gecko Science Compact F and the Apollo BTC starts to make a little bit more sense because with something like the future bid if you just want to optimize for ROI maybe it's not it doesn't make the best sense to get the full package because that's going to cost you $800 and then you're going to be running a you know but you're paying a little bit of a premium for a device that has an HDMI port that is a full computer and runs a node and controls all your miners pretty fucking seamlessly like it really 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 is easy to mine with the future bit and I don't want to stress that enough like you guys don't know how easy it is to start to mine with the future bit compared to anything else on the market so make sure you factor that into the price and make sure you fact that factor that into your own personality style because the other options are a little bit they're not as like apple or something like that um i i do feel that the future bit is like straight up a like a consumer grade a uh, device that it could be sold in stores um basically just like you know just like the experience that i've that i've had with it more or less <clears throat> Now, the one drawback that I have with FutureBit it, compared to the, uh, the Compact F is efficiency. And this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like, what are you optimizing for? Um, and the thing is, it's like the FutureBit at best, uh, when you have it on eco mode, it's drawing about 60 watts per terahash produced. So, you know, that means that you can have it chilling at two terahashes and it's going to be using like 60 watts or 120 watts or so. Something like the future bit, it uses a newer chip and those chips are from like the uh, Ant Miner S17 and they have some of um, Sidehack's, hand Sidehack's handiwork on it and uh, Kano's drivers and they got these bad boys chugging along at 350 giga hashes um at about 12 watts which is that is that 37 i think i did the calculation before is it's about 37 watts per terahash so overall you're getting less terahashes because the and you're paying more for them but the way that i look at it is after the halving you know in about in, in about three years now um the gecko science sticks will be mining at a more efficient rate as well and um you know they're gonna and and the uh the future bit guys are gonna be a little bit less profitable than the uh than the get-go science compact f guys um and then you know the s9 guys they're gonna be even worse off because you know they have about um 100 watt per terahash device and that's kind of like what you have to consider in this it's just like where do i think the bitcoin price is going to go if i'm looking at it in such a short time scale do i even really care uh because <clears throat> it's you know it's, it's like if like, like you know i'm planning like on holding these and just mining with them through 2024 and 2028 if i can like why not and then kind of like seeing where where thing where things are <laughs> but yeah um, so I guess to give a little bit more of a in-depth thoughts on them too, it's like with the future bit, there is a way where you can get like four terahashes, you know, relatively cheaply and, uh, relatively quickly. And, you know, that just involves getting just the hash board, getting your own power supply, and uh, using your own Raspberry Pi controller. And that, in my opinion, is probably a little bit more comparable to what the setup would uh, 
be like for the for the gecko science because i strongly don't recommend you run the gecko science sticks on your windows or any any anything like that you in my opinion those are kind of like designed to be run off a of raspberry pi and you should definitely do it because that's how they run well um and those are things that you just need to take into account because it's like if you're not willing to like you know i know command line scares a whole bunch of people it scared me too a little bit in all honesty but it's just answering a couple of commands pressing enter and that's really it like just like you know most of the time these people like the they make the guys where it's actually really really simple and um i wouldn't be making videos on it if I felt it was something that was super difficult that, you know, people couldn't do. Uh, in the future, I'm guessing it's going to be like, I'm hoping it's like a lot more like future bit style. But for now, it's still a little, uh, you know, got it. Like I said in the last video, comp uh, getting a hash out ain't, ain't, ain't so straightforward. It's not just putting in a graphics card. I'm going to show you guys how big this fucking S9 is. I have a big ass head. And I'm gonna show you how big this S9 is. Look at this monster right here. Shit is huge. And an S19 is like two of these or something like that. It's like ugly. It's industrial as fuck. And um That's not something that's keeping the wife and kids happy at all. And um, it's not even keeping, like, I'm not kind of that kind of guy. I don't want this fucking loud ass industrial ass shit. Just like come home from like work and shit. And then you just hear that. <laughs> I'm good. Good on that. You know, that's one of the things that I do love about the future bits and the gecko science. It's just like. You know, people. some people don't really like it because they're not as profitable as the ROI in terms of uh, in, in terms of the S9 compared to the S9 in terms of capital efficiency because, you know, S9 you can get for like five, six hundred bucks. But they are they are used. You're not getting a new S9 for that price. And um, they are old. You know, they can fail and they do fail. And, um, yeah, it's just, uh, there's a lot of shit to consider if you are looking to get into mining. Um, I just want, I just wanted to put like some thoughts out there because, uh, I, did, I do see a lot of people asking about both and, uh, just kind of like wanted to present some options to, to people that if, if they did want to get involved in mining in a, a little bit more serious way without going balls deep and, you know, copping a 10 KS9. Um, anyway. This is JTalks Crypto. This video is getting kind of long. Thanks for tuning in, but I'm signing off.